John here. Today is Saturday, the 11th of June 2016. Um, just the latest. I'm ringing Suna Cora in Gisborne. She's the uh, Prime Minister of the Maori government. Um, I've been with her for a long time, a few years, up to 20 years, uh, with Kingi Taurua. So between her and Kingi, uh, and myself, we have plans to take this country over, New Zealand, from John Key. Uh, it's obvious that he's running fraud business for his own private interests, and that has become a threat to the British military, Navy, Westminster government, and ourselves, their partners, in contract with King William the Fourth and this flag of Admiralty jurisdiction sitting inside Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. Now, I've been through that with Kingy and his um, Taumata elders on Titi Marae and also a meeting inside the Waitangi Marae opened it up for business of trading and bank with, with the Maui Power Note, King William's original Power Note to King Tafio. Uh, we are using to utilise as our currency against levy debtors John Key and his government ministers. We're holding them liable, him liable, for allowing fraud to happen on our lands. These are still our native Hapu Maui lands. He hasn't bought them out yet. It's not clear title. We still have the clear title. And that's my profession in land transactions and real estate. To know what the piece of land is what. So now we have Sue Nakora, very proficient in politics. She's the uh, Maori policy maker in the times of um, um, what's his name? Um, Jeff. Um, Jeff. Can't think of his name at the moment, but anyway. Um, he was the Labour Minister back then. And so she's worked with him, gone to the UN, and um, is ready to take this country back because of private interests of John Key and his corporations, his Crown Trusts, are liable right through. He liable them, the ministers liable him as well, the police liable John Key, through arresting me under this flag jurisdiction. Okay? Uh, Jeff, Sir Geoffrey Palmer, that's his name. Sir Geoffrey Palmer was the Labour leader with Sue Nakora running the um, 1986 constitution of this country. Now, she's familiar with constitutional law, and that's what I do, constitutional law with her. And... Um, going through that process at the moment, legally, to wrap this all up. Now that Waitangi Marae uh, is the courthouse, that's the King's Bench Courthouse, where we base our authority over these lands, above the Queen's Bench Court. That's what's happening with the Auckland District Court now, why it's taken so long for them to take me to court, it appears that I'll be taking them to court on that side of the judge inside there with this flag authority. Anyway, I'm going to ring Sunakura and see if she's there. And I'm going to Gisborne to have a meeting on one of our blocks and um, one of 30 blocks of land I'm in as a shareholder. And that one's in a Ruatoria. You'll see it on Facebook, I'll put it on there in a minute. 
uh, of our proposals to start developing the land at Rangitukia, Hahos 7B. And I'm having a meeting there on the 29th, on a Wednesday next uh, this month, and on Tuesday in Gisborne, um, um, trustees meeting or shareholders meeting, um, where I will be attending with Desmond Wanua and Jamie and Marie Patrick Stewart, my secretary, private secretary. Uh, she'll be coming along too and taking notes of what's uh, um, going to happen. Uh, that's run by the Tumutumu Paeroa Trust on behalf of the landowners there. When that happens, it means that they can't do anything to develop that land block. I'm going there with proposals of what we, we want to do with it. And that's the first of those blocks. The Haho 7B and that um, poor I forgot what the name is now. Uh, anyway, it's on the, on the um, website. Um, you'll see it there. It's, um, I'll just have a look what it is. It's the... Oh gosh, I can't see it. I should have had that ready. Anyway, that's the block um, you'll see on, on Facebook uh, that we're uh, going to the meeting in Gisborne on the 28th at 10 o'clock in the morning. Tumutu Mupai Roa. Okay, so, and then from there, the next day, we have a meeting with um, Tamati Reed. Uh, this is for you at uh, Rangitukia. I'll be there. I see that you've got a Kiwi party for this country. I'll support what you do with anything. We're playing along with the Crown's game until we take over. Uh, there's no need to be alarmed to try and make anything else of our, uh, our, of our own at this stage. It's better to just go along with them and shove them sideways and then appear to be knowing what we're doing. Better job than those politicians who's full of fraud in there. That government's laced with fraud. And I'm taking all that case into the Auckland District Court to open it all up, the Pandora's box of John Key. Now, all of his business is run for the Queen. The Queen is running her business racket in our Waitangi Marae on Kingi Taurua's land. Now he wants his land back, John Key. He wants that land back. We're taking that land back off you and booting you out of there because you've been duping his people. The Ngāpui with Jerry Mataprai Andrews, the Governor General, has been instrumental in selling these lands off that's not his. That's not Maori. That's not Maori land. It's Maui Hapu's land, not Maori Iwi land. That's what I'm going to Gisborne for to sort that lot out. Okay, I'm going to ring through now and see if she's there. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. No, that's not working. I'll just give it a couple of minutes and try Tom Reed again. Tom Reed. Reed. Tom Reed is the um, elder chief down on the Rangitukia area, and he's the one I've got confidence in in our meetings, as you'll see on online, and I'll be filming it down there when we go down to the meeting as well on the 29th. No, he's not home. Oh, well, I'll try Sue again. I'm hoping I can get Sue. No, she's busy. She's off the line at the moment. Anyway, that's all I want to do. I don't want to make this too long. I'll ring later. Just to let you know that I put these two documents on Facebook. And you'll see there that we have um, uh, Tapatapu Atea Marae in uh, East Island. Uh, the Raiatea uh, um, um, Island uh, is connected to East Island. That's where they went to, um, um, our people, then. That's the story I'm going to connect up to the East Cape. 
Tapatapu Ate Marae is where they came straight to the East Cape and our family um, and of, of uh, Hapu. And you can see where I put it on to the site and the marae there, the, it's supposed to be the Marangairo marae, they changed it, the Iwi Maori changed it to Aotere marae from Marangairo marae. All those land blocks around there where we are are Marangairo land blocks. And um, uh, so it's mischievous to change our names. We're going to change everything back. And you'll see King William there and his seal and me and King Itaurua right there. Sue will be right there with us in these projects when we start. So that's one of the pictures. Uh, you'll see the blocks, I'm in this 30 blocks, um, Maryland blocks. And so we're gonna pick off one at a time. Uh, the first is the Haho 7B block where we'll be operating from, our business. And this one here, um, uh, other one we're having a meeting in Gisborne is the other block. Um, so. Um, not going to muck around with anybody um, when doing these these land titles. Uh, we know who we are and we're just going to go there and let them know um, how things are going to go from this end of the court, the King's Bench Court, not the Queen's Bench Court, the King's Bench, the Queen's Bench Court is Levy Ditta. So we're just going to um, go there without any fuss or bother and sort it out. Okay, so that's me in a nutshell for now. Uh, it's a beautiful day today, and I'll go out and uh, uh, off I go to the gym soon, and uh, we'll catch you later. Have a nice day. Bye. John Monar, Auckland, New Zealand.